yes sir i am facing problems with the uh, calculation sir actually i am uh, i starting i was very slow with calculation mm-hmm. and i have also seen your recent uh, mm-hmm. uh, video actually today or yesterday i don't know yeah, i saw yeah, the yeah. video on calculation mm-hmm. so you are put uh, but uh, uh, the main problem is that i don't know the method to calculate the mm-hmm. problem is i don't know method if i know the method i can improve my speed but i don't know the method how to approach this calculation Like mm. it's something, some number to the power of some point two mm. three something. Mm. So I I don't know the method to calculate. If I know the method, I will try and apply it, and I can pick up my speed. Okay. See, uh, what you can do is that use the calculator. See, what you have to do is approximate. All right. So okay. if if I say under root two, right? Exactly. Under root two. Then what does that actually mean? Two to the power what? One by two. One by two, right? That means two to the power point five. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. If I say uh, un- uh, cube root of two, what does that mean? Two to the power two whole power one by three. Yeah, that means two to the power point three three. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, do you know the value of under root of two? Uh, Remember the value. One point four one four. Sir. Yeah, good. That is the value of that. Now, yes, do you sir. know the value of uh, under root of three? Under root of three, that is what the one point seven three two. Yeah, so you remember these values, right? For example, right. from one to ten, you know the value of under root of those values. Yes, sir. Okay? I have memorized one to ten values. Yeah, generally also, even if you keep on solving, you will know those values. All right. And let oh, us say from one okay. to one to twenty, it is safe to remember from one to twenty under root and cube root. Okay. Now okay, let us okay. come back. You were saying two to the power point two something. I do not know the yes, value sir, of that. Two power zero point two eight four, sir. Okay, wait. Two to the power zero point two eight, right? That is very yes, close sir. to two to the power zero point three or not? Yes or yes, no? Yes, sir. But you yes, already sir. know two to the power zero point three three value. That is cube root of two, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that will be very close to that. Right, so oh, at that okay. case, you can do approximation. That I reduce the value of of it little bit because I already know the value of cube root of three. So I can approximate the value of two to the power point three or point two eight. You understand? Okay. Yes, it yes, it yes, works like that. It will it will require a little bit of hit and trial. And that you can do okay. using calculator. Okay, see the value of okay. it. What is the actual value of it? Next time you try to do the proper approximation. Okay. See, your in your oh, option, okay, no. Okay. If if your options are too close, right? Uh, very close values in four options, then it will be very very difficult. So first, you see if you have to do tough calculation, you look at the options. If the options are okay. far away, and I will tell you ninety nine percent of the time, it will be very far okay. away. Okay. Then you okay. proceed and do little bit of approximations. For example, there will be four to the power. Uh, sorry, four point five six seven eight. Okay. It can also okay. be written as four four point five six eight, right? Seven eight can be converted into point eight. Yes or no? So yes, always, if you do round up like this, no, it will be helpful for you. A lot of time, decimals on numerator, decimals on denominator, right? If you approximate it, then you'll understand. For example, if you are approximating and increasing the denominator, then what happens? The final value you are actually decreasing it a little bit or not? Decreasing. Yes. yes, sir, yes sir. Then you will approximate, and the final value that you will get, you increase it a little bit if the options are too close. You understand? Okay. Same sir. goes with numerator. If you are approximating numerator to be higher a little bit, then you understand the total value I am increasing a little bit. Then you decrease a little okay. bit just before you put the answer. Okay. And uh, okay, sir. I will move to the next part, the third part. Yeah. Sir, so actually, in the third part is about max and amplitude, sir. Mm-hmm. I I uh, saw your video. You uh, you told us uh, start uh, the max and amplitude side by side your major subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, actually, uh, first of all, I I started strength of material, so it should be uh, I I I like I don't want it. To, I didn't want to be so stressed. So to start with, like three subjects: aptitude, max, and strength of material. Yeah. So yeah. I plan to complete uh, strength of material first. Then I uh, I start thermodynamics, aptitude, and max side by side. Yeah. See. So uh, I get practice. See, see, see. I'm, I'm telling you again. Actually, I did not mention it clearly. That is why you are having confusion. I told people to start maths and aptitude from second phase. All right. So August oh. and September, you finish your major subjects. That will give you higher amount of confidence also. And then okay. from October onwards, side by side, you start start maths and aptitude. Or if it is possible for you, start maths now, and you can start aptitude from October onward onwards. Right. 
Okay, so but actually, uh, I have started aptitude uh, from uh, uh, the last month itself. Uh, hmm. Okay. Actually, I am giving a uh, one hour daily basis for aptitude, and so far, so good. I have completed three topics. The remaining is twenty. So oh. I thought uh, it would be it is easier also to give one hour for aptitude. Hmm. If you are uh, getting the rhythm, then that is not an issue. Okay, then you can start okay. mathematics from October onwards. But uh, do okay, not yeah. slack it e- any further. All right, because mathematics will take time. Okay, at least two months okay. you should assign to it. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, actually, sir, and I have I had some questions for uh, actually general studies also, but you told that uh, don't target for the easy yeah, too yeah. much. Yeah, see, if you go for too much, then your quality will decrease. Okay, so right now what your oh. condition is, I would say that stay away from engineering services. Just appear with your technical knowledge. Okay. Okay, so sure, so then I'll just cut it off. Scroll oh. down, sir. Mm-hmm. So okay, so I'll just move to the next part of the question. Yeah. Yes, actually, uh, in the revision strategy, you mentioned the uh, cyclic revision. Sir. Mm-hmm. That is uh, after completing the parallel revision, like twenty uh, seventh, uh, I completed strength of material. Mm-hmm. Actually, twentieth, I completed strength of material. Twenty seventh, mm-hmm. I started my parallel revision after one week. Yeah, very good. So after this complete. Then I have to start the uh, second parallel revision from this month of twenty seven. Yeah, correct. You will so give three ap- days. So See, listen, that, listen, listen. When I should start? The listen, listen, revision. listen. Those, those that you will do twenty seventh of this month, no. Allocate yes, completely sir. three days, twenty seven, twenty eight, and twenty nine to that strength of material revision. It will take that much time. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, but now the, actually, this first parallel revision actually, which I started on twenty seventh, mm-hmm. I used to give daily one hour for strength of material revision. Daily But one hour. Now I, yes, sir. Daily one hour. When? 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 Uh, actually, I completed on twentieth. I started on twenty seventh. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, from twenty seventh, I am giving daily basis one hour for strength of material revision, sir. Okay. Okay. So you are and doing the revision for the last fourteen days or close to that, or I think seven eight days. Ah, uh, uh, seven days, sir. Seven days. Okay. Sorry, it should not days. take that much time. Okay. When you are revising, yeah. what you are, what are you doing for revision? For revision, uh, you just uh, told just uh, completely revise your class notes, then mm-hmm. solve previous year questions. For revising class notes, I'm not taking more than uh, 25 minutes, sir. Uh, per subject or something like that. My, ta- my time is okay. I'm uh, uh, spending too much time. For solving previous year questions. Yes, sir. Are you solving all the previous year questions again? No, sir. The star marks question itself, sir. Hmm. Okay. How how many hours you are giving every day for that revision? For that revision, uh, maximum is uh, one and a half to two hours, and minimum is one hour, sir. Okay, minimum one hour. Let us say every day. Are you doing that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Literally every day. Sir. Okay. What percentage of strength of material have you completed revi- revising? Sir, I have completed till the uh, what, sir? Today, today I completed the principal stresses and principal strain, sir, and okay. remaining are theory of failure, theory mm-hmm. of column, mm-hmm. and uh, thin cylinder, thick cylinder. The that is that is pretty good. I think in three more days you'll be able to do it, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let us say you took even fourteen days, right? And yes, uh, you sir. you gave even two hours every day. That would mean like you have given twenty eight hours to revise it, yes, sir. right? That is not bad. Okay. So that means if you would have given two days or three days, you would have given the same amount of work. Okay. So that's not an issue. Oh. Okay. Finish it properly. No issues. Right. Okay, so uh, actually, uh, but I am taking too much time to solve a uh, problem when I am uh, solving it. Uh, actually, today I actually I uh, started uh, principal stresses and strain, mm-hmm. and I completed it, sir. Okay. But I took uh, almost uh, two and a half hours, sir. That is Next not an issue. Hour. See, you are solving for questions for the second time or the third time. Okay. How much yes, How much time are you taking per question? For question, it's uh, it's based on the t- uh, toughness of the questions. So some question uh, which are easily accessible it means which are directly uh, mm-hmm. uh, substitute the values and we uh, do the calculation, get the answer. Those question I can finish it up in three minutes or two minutes. So okay. Sir. But some question which in- involves some concept of understanding. Okay. Like like sir, it goes in a uh, to. I uh, give you one example, sir. I solved it today. Mm-hmm. Yes, actually in a. Uh, In the more circle problems, in the more circle problem uh, where I had uh, some sigma one and sigma two given, which uh, we basically mark in uh, x axis, okay. and they have given ad- another normal stress mm-hmm. where the uh, uh, shear stress is acting. Mm-hmm. So to uh, calculate the center and to calculate the maximum shear stress, those type of uh, 
too much in depth concept sir how much time did you take like, थ्रू दैट साइकिल यू आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व मोर एंड मोर न्यू टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन राइट सो टाइम इज नॉट एन इशू ओके दैट इज वाई आई सेट द अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम यू आर टेकिंग फॉर रिविजन इट इज फाइन ओके इफ यू वुड हैव गिवन टू टू थ्री कंप्लीट डेज इट वुड हैव टेकन द सेम अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम द ओनली रीजन यू आर टेकिंग मोर नंबर ऑफ डेज इज बिकॉज यू आर गिविंग ओनली वन टू टू आवर्स एवरी डे राइट सो डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट द ओनली ऑब्जेक्टिव दैट यू शुड हैव इन योर हेड दैट यू शुड डू इट फास्टर द क्वेश्चन दैट यू नीडेड थ्री मिनट्स टू सॉल्व दैट शुड बी डन इन वन मिनट and that will improve okay. with practice okay don't worry about rest so and another problem is that while star uh, while solving the star mark question sir mm-hmm. my brain is uh, telling me to the uh, go, go look into that question which is not smart star mark mm. just look at it just look at it it is telling like i uh, just i uh, and when i go look at it and uh, just uh, i will uh, like uh, try to solve it uh, through my mind it says mm. like it is coming like this this value is this so i put it in this i and i'll get this yeah see so when i do that and uh, see the answer it is not the right answer so i get just a little upset sir see like j- even the star mark question which is not marked i am not able to solve mm-hmm. so that uh, i wanted to mention it see here's the thing the whole concept of star mark question is no is based on probability all right the probability of you finding questions that you will be able to solve very easily is very high in non star mark questions okay there will be okay. one or two questions that you won't be able to solve but it is not an issue see you are going to be solving a lot number of questions till you actually appear for gate examination there will be yes, test sir. series also there will be a lot of phases of you going through it okay yes, but sir. if you go and solve like those hundreds of question per chapter no then it will yes, be impossible sir. for you to cover okay always remember in this examination it is not about solving each and every question all right what okay. you are weak in over time you have to improve for example all the star mark questions it is 100% sure that you were not able to solve it in your one go right so yes, those are the questions that you have to improve next time and next time the that star mark question should be solved in one go right that is the whole okay. philosophy for you to reduce the amount of time that you are investing okay because you have to look at it as a holistic approach nobody can solve 100% of the questions right even no matter how much time i give you right so if there is one or two question that is left which is non star mark which now you are not able to solve no worries you will be giving test series also then you will find out okay this type of question i'm still not able to solve right so okay. it is more important to look at the problem in majority right okay sir hmm is uh, and the next one sir have i asked you to when to start the cyclic revision hmm when to start yes, cyclic revision see for strength of material we can use it as a perfect example uh, like uh, see uh, you finished your first revision on 27th right then sir, you are uh, actually i started my first revision on 27th sir it does not matter That's okay let us say you okay, finished sir. on 10th okay? okay let us say you are going to do your next revision that will be your second revision on let us yes, say sir. 5th of uh, september okay strength of material oh, okay. that is your two revision cycles done your third revision cycle will be on october 5th and there you will be giving your subject wise test you understand okay so yes sir yes, that sir. is how you do revision cycle and similarly you can understand that for thermodynamics also right yes sir yes sir hmm over okay, time you will be reaching next. reaching some subjects where you will not be able to do two cycles because you are already reached somewhere around like october okay for small subjects then you can yes, for, do it for the second revision cycle only right for example now what you are going to do for strength of material on let us say 20 uh, 5th of september that you can uh, do it before only like the second time that what you are doing for strength of material now at the end of that revision you can do subject wise test series okay but those are not major subjects so it is very important for you to do number of cycles properly for major subjects okay okay sir okay sir mm. yes sir and, uh, and uh thing the next question is uh, test series sir uh, it's about completely about test series hmm. <coughs> i am having a doubt which test series to buy sir that is the first question hmm. and how to give test series hmm. like i am preparing for esc and gate in general 
Mm-hmm. And uh, when I go to uh, opt to buy for a test series, they are having a gate test series and ESC test series. Mm, okay. So which one should I go for first, and which one I uh, should I complete? Then I should uh, revise, I uh, analyze it, mm. and then again after one week I have to give the test. Mm-hmm. So which one should I go for? Sir? See, uh, what we now. have seen for the last three four years is that ACE is very considerably is stable. Okay, they are producing good test series, so you can take that. Now the next okay. co- next question comes that a gate or gate plus ESE, then you should only take gate. Okay, because okay. ESE test series is not that effective. All right, so because that is an offline paper st- uh, system, and no need to give test series for that, especially if you're not focused towards engineering services. All right, so take gate only. Okay. ஒன்னு 